provided a food source for fish, urchins, and the beautiful blue wave limpets. Eel grass, or sea grass, or sparrow marine, is an arena flower and plant, growing between 5 to 12 meters depth. The blue top shell, the juvenile sparrow, was found here in 2019 by sea salt divers. Only 10 millimetres high, it was last recorded by Edward Forbes in 1838, and was thought to be the most northerly sighting of the species, as it is typically found in the Mediterranean. filled with an anxiety of love like that of officers for a sailing ship in a gale. Though it was in the early mornings of high tide when getting breakfast that this wild elemental menace often proved the most unnerving, with the grey sea and white caps almost level with the windows and the rain dashing against them, with the sea crashing and hissing inshore under the house, causing horrible commotions of logs jarring thunders dithering the whole little shack so that the lamp brackets rattled with the windows, past which drifting timber sailed, threatening the pier, beyond the smoke of the factories. was the Manx boat builder, whose boat shed was large as a small church and built of hand-split cedar shapes, and whose floating pier bisected the bay and constituted its own general landing. The only thing, perhaps, that made the little impromptu port an entity, and he seemed to be the father or grandfather of most of the other fishermen, so that, in the way of Celts, it was a little like a big family, the entrance to which, for an outsider, I was to find by no means easy. Sometimes when it was stormy, in the later days, we used to sit in his shack, strewn with a litter like needles, with braddles and hacksaws, flowers and nail sacks and drift bottles, and drink tea, or when we had any whiskey, and sing the old man's fisherman's hymn, where the tempest howled across the inlet, and the water, scarcely less loud, rushed with a mighty enthusiasm down his hemlock through. There was no hymn like this great hymn that sung to the tune of the Peel Castle, with its booming mind chords, and which sounds all the savagery of the sea, yet whose words have sung. 
application of lesson appealed to him than a poem of God's mercy. Hear us, O Lord, from heaven and to our Providing a food source for fish, urchins, and the beautiful blue rayed limpet. Eelgrass, or seagrass, Bustera marina, is a marine flowering plant growing between 5 to 12 metres depth. The grooved top shell, Jujubinus striatus, was found here in 2019 by sea search divers. Only 10 millimetres high, it was last recorded by Edward Forge in 1838. Creating the equivalent of underwater forests. They have similar structures to terrestrial plants. The hold fast, like a root. Stipe, like a stem. And blades, like leaves. And establish on hard rock surfaces which they anchor to with the hold fast. Kelp provide a 3D habitat for a diverse range of species. Worms, mollusks and crustaceans hide in the holdfast, and the blades host bryzoans, juvenile fish and other seaweeds that colonise the surface. Eelgrass, or seagrass, Zostera marina, is a marine flowering plant growing between 5 to 12 metres depth. The grooved top shell Jujubinus striatus was found here in 2019 by sea search divers. Only 10 millimetres high, it was last recorded by Edward Very Forbes in 1838 and is thought to be the most northerly sighted of a large the proportion of their population found on the seaward side of the peninsula. They can be seen year round and give birth to white pups in the autumn. They often follow divers around when diving in the gully between the peninsula and Fort Island. They are a deep water species, but also seem to enjoy the shallow coastal waters of the island, feeding on squid and octopus. Manx Whale and Dolphin Watch have been monitoring their numbers through photo ID and estimate they have a large visiting population. Calves have also been spotted, suggesting it's a safe nursery area for this species. Eelgrass forms meadows that provide habitats for crabs, lobster and various fish.